Let's do some more music. That was lucky. So, so, two days of Elijah. Uh, everybody gathers around. I need my big dog. I need my big dog. Q. Kia tanomaya. I gave myself a pep talk. Hey. Ah, see. So, um, I'm on YouTube too. <laughs> Going live both ways. See? Yeah. I'm a menace. Can't take me anywhere. See, this is against a tyrannical government. The United States government is a tyrannical government. And I'm going to prove it. And, you know, on YouTube and everything. We're getting them together. We're getting them together over there. Okay, so, because I had a friend of mine show up today. He was upset. See, everybody's had something stolen from him last night. And, oh. And, you know, I, the church was handed over to me. And this is a act of random kindness. Guess the song. Oh, I don't know what that sound is. This is so weird. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, you know, if 2% of the population would stand up, he goes, they wouldn't let them do this, this because yesterday, see, the church was supposed to come out here and feed these people. And they haven't been showing up. Nobody else has been showing up. And the one who did show up that runs for the pantry for the for a church, see, they have all the grants to feed these people. They have the grants um, to get what the people need, you know, even hot spots or bonfires or permits to um, get into shelter or propane or socks or coats this is this is all I got for and it's not winter clothes mm -mm. but nobody showed up for the people I fed the whole park on the fly yesterday whole park and he was so upset five people got their shit stolen last night now, so he, he starts, he goes, if 2%, if this whole park would stand up, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something. Uh, I'm, it takes one person to stand up to take and give the power back to the people. So I threatened to blow up the White House to CBI. See, they have broken every single one of my human constitutional rights. 
1 through 10. Let's start with that. I have been detained without charges. I don't have so much as a parking ticket. And um, they have made it impossible for me to live to get any kind of help, to get any kind of money, anything like that. They cut my disability. And do you know what CB... Do you know what CBI asked me this morning? Well, what did you do to provoke Donald Trump? What the hell is wrong with you? They've taken my stuff. They have chased me down, tried to kill me. They've stripped me of everything. They're, now they're letting the people lay out here and die? They're doing the same thing? They're trying to get rid of me because oh, <laughs> I beat them in court. And they tried to make that disappear because they Donald Trump persecuted me. For my faith in Christ. That's what this was about. Because God told me to tell him to repent. Because he took Jerusalem. I have been detained without charges or a trial. I want a trial. I have a right to face my accusers. Yet yeah, this is a tyrannical government. Tell me that there is nothing they could do. We there are certain things we cannot can and cannot do. And I said, there is certain things that they the sitting president should not have been able to do. He's not supposed to do that, and they can't help me. That's what she said. They cannot help me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm one person, and I also want to tell the people that's what the Second Amendment is, the right to bear arms against a tyrannical government. And I am here to tell you, <laughs> the people need to take back this government. The people need to take back. And I told that guy today, I said, it takes one person. I said, they show up. See, they are all protected under, you know, the separation of church and state. And, you know, they have their repentance and their confessions and everything else. And I'm, I'm a preacher. I'm a pastor. See, this is a shelterless sanctuary. Everybody wants to know who cartel is. That would be me. Get me in a courtroom. I deserve a trial. Because I'm not bearing witness against anybody because those are, it's like uh, attorney client privilege. This is pastor, you know, last rights type thing, you know, for salvation. So I threatened to blow up the White House. And oh yeah, this is how we do it. Oh yeah, no, yeah. See, see, God is going to bring the hammer down on the White House. He's going to shake his fist at Iran and slam the judgment hammer down on the White House. So I sent the blood of Christ against the White House. The full power of the finished works of the cross. Hallelujah. I bind the Pentagon in the blood of the Lamb. And I set Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His fist against the power of the presidency. See, so then it goes, good luck, need luck. Yahweh wouldn't have sent me into the ring with that serpent, Donald Trump.
if I didn't already have the victory. I want my day in court. Tell me you can't do nothing. These are an act. This is an act of war against one person. This is torture. And under my constitutional rights, no punishment. But see, I haven't been charged with anything, but I've been detained. I didn't get a trial, but I've been sentenced to die. They wanted to know if I was me. I can't even get two pennies to rub together. They're taking everything because they want to make sure it's me. Well, guess what, buttercups? I just threatened to blow up the White House. Come and identify me and give me my day in court. Because I don't care who it is. You pick up my people. I'm going to go in and I'm taking the charge. I am. Because separation of church and state. You don't get to decide when Yahweh forgives them. And you took away every single one of my rights and you cannot hold the people to laws that you yourselves break. Barack Obama was a constitutional lawyer. He tore apart the Constitution. See, they broke every single one of my rights and then asked me what I did to provoke him. This is what I'm doing. I didn't do nothing before, but this is what I'm doing now. Nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to stand up. I'm here to stand up for our people against the United States government. A lot of my people out here aren't going to make it through this winter. They have all these grants and all these donations sitting there and nobody, they, they just left them out here to die. And I call the CBI today asking for help to file a complaint against the government for what they have done. And I was told that there's nothing they could do for me. This is an act of war on a civilian. I have been tortured, shown, isolated. Now I'm facing the firing squad. I want my day in court. And I will face my accusers, the United States government. See, I won my lawsuit. The Navy actually took full responsibility for my medical and what they had done to me. I have top brass lawyers, but nobody wanted to touch this because there's not a number big enough after everything they've done to me, and they know it. So, you can call me Joan, and yeah, I did that this morning. I talked to the CBI, and it is, what, almost 7 o'clock at night? Haven't heard a word from anybody. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <clears throat> so because somebody needs to do oh boy howdy I am and believe me the other nations are watching right now see
It's a love me. <sighs> I take responsibility for the people. <clears throat> I'll be their lawyer. <laughs> Constitution was built on the Ten Commandments. The Word of God. And I'm about to win this trial. Who wants to be me now? <gasps> Is there nobody? Yeah, I've had enough. I've had my fill of this bullshit. I have officially stepped up to the plate to face the beast. I will say the hallelujah in Yeshua Hamashiach's name. <laughs> and play some music. my people <laughs> acts of kind and uh, random kindness we all have to help each other out here believe me they have stripped all the money from all of us hey where where have you been dude huh oh Yes. Oh, yes. Good. 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 gas cards to stay warm and I have asked for a year for tithes and everything so I could give it to Yahweh so he could disperse it through the people not a dime they just took everything that I had made me prove I'm me well this is me crazy you want to call me crazy now call me crazy Hey. Ooh, my hands are cold. Um, let's see. This is this is a family out here. And all the cops do is bother them. Nobody's hurting anybody out here. The only time there's a fight is when they, the cops decide to come in and, you know, take away the water or put a porta potty out here and refuse to open the bathrooms or turn off the electricity or tell us to get out of the park when they don't have anywhere to go. Refuse to get a permit so they can have some heat at night. There's abandoned motels and houses and everything else that's up underneath that the government themselves have taken. There's no reason why these people are freezing to death on these streets. Absolutely not. So, call me crazy, call me kooky. I got my first credit card the other day, and they said, well, we have to verify it's you. 
check out this amazing boho macrame tassel woven storage basket available for just 90% cents on sale. A jet wrapping 90% off, perfect for holding flowers, fruit, snacks, or adding a touch of aesthetic. Stand up. I'll be by my hair, sweetheart. Hey, baby, by the way, I'm so in love with you. <laughs> That's just a full on attack. This is why. Okay. What's that? Oh, they don't like this. Okay. I say the other I review you Satan. Oh well, I thought I got city get from me. Oh yeah, city I know we are. This is insane. Okay. Jose, do you have a pair of gloves? What? Do you have a pair of gloves? No, I need That's his bum. Huh? That's his bum. Oh, hi, I'm Lori. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <coughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> he, he made the bomb. That's tasty. Can I use your little blanket? Do you have a little one? Just for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It turned my music off. See, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, fine. I'm going to play this. Mm -hmm. It's 
switch and use it. Does not want me to play this. <laughs> That's funny shit. <sighs>
Okay, we need, how about some larceny? <clears throat> we played it, larceny. Okay. How was seen, your walk? Have you seen Answer Becky? No. Okay, come on. Are they in the corner? I have no idea, I lost them all. All the <laughs> Fucking crazy drunk bitch fucking went off the deep end and fucking hijacked fucking ants. And Becky went looking for him. Oh, D. Yep. And Preston's bike got stolen. Huh? Preston's bike got stolen. I know. We went, we've been out looking for it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We went to the abando. We went looking. There's nowhere to be found. I don't know how the fuck that happened. That fucking bug, bugs the shit out of me. Because in the time period that I, from, from me going up there, down to here, somebody nabbed it. Yeah, that's and weird. And then that makes me sort of think of I was down there. The only. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, it's a clock, man. I don't know. I don't know who did it, but something that's fucked up. Yeah, it's that's really up. messed up. So. Mm. Or anywhere that I would know it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, you need to stop. Oh. See? Don't want to listen. Don't listen. Okay. Not my fault. You should really go see someone. Because every word I said is scripture. Yeah, that. Every word I can put with prophecy fulfilled. So you should go see someone because I'm giving all the glory to God. So, eh. Think I'm crazy. Huh? I think that is Santos. So maybe you should go see someone. Because I can back up everything I said. You weren't here. You didn't even try to verify. So, uh, get along, little doggy. Get along, little doggy. And I'm the one still standing here. Isn't that crazy? Standing alone. All I want is a fair trial. I want my day in court. That's crazy. <laughs> Call me kooky. <laughs> How you like me now? <laughs> We're still in the water where history is made. We're cranking up the lights now so everyone can see. It's all happening right now. We're gonna make you believe. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. And this you're doing here, that's crazy too, right? You're not doing that. Keeping down the algorithms and everything else. 
I'm a pastor. I teach prophecy and I teach spiritual warfare. I'll put Satan on its face. Sure am. You have Erdogan, Chi, and um, Poop. And they're ready to bomb America. Where is your politicians? And the only reason they're going to be able to do it is because none of, nobody has done anything about it. So that's what I'm doing. So call me crazy if you want to. Let's do it. But I get my day at court. Something I was denied. Detained without charges. They took everything from me. Brutal punishments for crimes I didn't commit. Now get me in in a courtroom. Because they broke every single one of my constitutional freedoms, my human rights. They raped me of my life, killed my daughter, stripped me down to nothing, stole my inheritance, my heritage, cloned my son, turned, tried to turn me into a super soldier, sold me to the Clintons, and used every manner of witchcraft and death magics against me. And I have proof of all this. Oh, when the Secret Service detained me, that was fun. But to sit there and have a victim's advocate at CBI tell me there's nothing they can do for me and ask me what I did to provoke Trump. Oh, I told him to repent because Yahweh told me to prophesy against him that if he touched Jerusalem, Yahweh was going to knock the piss out of him. He did it. He touched the apple in God's eye. And then the whore came after us. Yeah. So all that prophecy is fulfilled. And I won the case against the Navy. They took responsibility for what they did to me. They have my medical records. See, I said, they killed me. The Lord Jesus Christ resurrected me. The Father, Yahweh restored me and sent me in his name to the Father. I don't know more should. So let's play a game. They couldn't prove I was crazy. They proved I was a damn genius. I'm not. I, I said, what did I, I'm his victim. I am Donald Trump's victim. What did I do to provoke him? He came after me using the power of the presidency to do it. Broke all my freedoms, the ones that you guys live on. 
if they did it to me, who do you think's next? But the gates of hell won't prevail against the church, and that would be me. I need to plug in my phone. Excuse me. Hey, Deej. Oh, my God. Warm hands. Warm hands. What? Oh, thank you. Oh, see it. So... except for do as my God commanded me. Then persecuted me for my faith in Jesus Christ. So <laughs> this, I have everything to back up what I said. All the evidence. They wouldn't let me file a complaint <laughs> against the government today for breaking my constitutional rights. They took my stuff from me. I am homeless on the streets. No way to get any cash and they just took my disability. All because I won't break my faith in Christ. I am one person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm standing up for the kids who can't say anything. Who have been terrorized. With their projects, the sex trafficking and everything else. The experiments. Standing up for the people. They're not doing anything wrong. Hold on, Tim. It's not the people. I don't blame the people for none of it. I wanted the ones who gave the orders. And those are the ones that thought they had the power to shut me up. And see it? And threaten the people Sammy, around cool me. It. Wait a minute. They didn't do what they wanted them to do to me. Their families were in trouble. I don't blame any of them for that. I wanted the ones who gave the orders. I had to lose my son to save my son. They had already killed my daughter. This was a bloodline hit. They were supposed to wipe me out. I'm Nephilim. I'm half angel, half human. And I earned my wings. Now, they tried to turn me into a super soldier. They cloned my son and killed my daughter. Anybody I loved 
or cared about. If I didn't walk away from them, something would happen to them or their family and make these people hate me. I'm not the one that did it. Everybody is, the people are enslaved. Hey, babies, come here. She's like, you got my sweater on. Hey, babies. She's so cute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and so, uh, They cannot hold a people to a law that they themselves break. Nobody has custody of their children because the school district, the states take it every single time. That's what most people don't know. They're taking people's kids away because they can't afford to have a house because it's astronomical prices when they have so much property and they could help these people. You know, these people out here have skills. They have skills. <laughs> it feels about I rebuke you and you show a name. They're about to nuke the people. Those nukes will not go off. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against me I shall condemn in judgment. I am the daughter of troops. The lamb. If we ask the idiot, no matter the name, slain lamb, idiot, any idiot, no matter. I had to lose my son to save him. I had to walk away and pretend I hated him, or they would have killed him if I didn't come back here. They were going to. They couldn't get through me. You ride with you. We're gonna run to Walmart. Hey, we I said they Yahweh's with me. I walk with God. Hallelujah. I am a witness. I was denied protection. Shelter. Yes, Sammy, I hear you. Settle down. She's up here. I know. She's freaking out on me. <laughs> it, it's the energy. I need to go out and get my speaker. Ah! Okay. Got it. 
Thank you. Here, Jamie, Jamie. Yeah, Tammy's out there. Um, could you have her bring my my speaker? Tammy. Uh, she could be. I know. I guess all hell has broken loose over there. Um, Preston got his bike stolen and that's why and then when she went up there um, the, all the others took off and she lost them and then she was sitting up there and I came in here because my phone's dead and yeah so yeah she's sitting up at the pavilion live so yeah In my phone. My other phone. Hmm. Got a full altar here. See, there's another pastor here. And we took, we took over the church. We took over the care of these people. I'm responsible for their souls. I'm responsible for them. They're in a sanctuary where they can confess they're before an altar. I will take up here, so I can't really take off. For the people here. I have no clue where she's at. I'm coming and confess and, 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 and relinquish the properties. I know nothing. <clears throat> I did it. I'll take <clears throat> I'll take responsibility for anything you can fucking come up with. To charge these people with a crime that they didn't commit. Big Pharma is the true cartel, it's the government. Doesn't matter. 
what it is, it's God's seed. And they put it in witchcraft in a pill, say it's okay if they give it to you. But then they cut all the people off and don't help them. They get natural seed and they want to put them in jail for trying to function and even work. What do you think the shaman does? What do you think a spiritual person does? What do you think a medicine woman does? What do you think a healer does? Then you go to the beginning. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. And nothing was made without the Word of God. And when He made everything, He made the healing of the trees for the nations. Now that's scripture. But He said everything was good. His seed was good. He said it was good. The problem is, we need to ask him how to use it. That's the difference. That's the sin in it is because you don't ask him for it. It's the same thing Adam and Eve didn't ask if they could. They were told not to. They did. We did. But if we would have asked him so he could teach us, it would have been different. It was not a pot plant that made Adam and Eve fall. It was not a tea plant. It was not a tobacco plant. It was not a mushroom that made Adam and I fall. It was the fruit of knowledge off the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Our eyes were open to good and evil. Same thing you guys open your eyes to every day. Rightfully divide the word. Discern and find and use the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. And the tree, the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Do you know that the White House was given out um, free marijuana, free joints, free tree to take the vaccine? But they tell you it's bad, and we can prove miracles with it. It's a it it it's a spiritual tool, Holy Spirit tool. Healing, yeah. You know, see, it's a tool. It's like a lighter. Okay, it's a lighter. Now, it could be used for good or evil. But it's just a lighter, it's a tool. It's the intention of the heart. But, God said the seed was good. He never said mankind was. In the flesh. Oh, you see, that's the fallen state. The flesh is the fallen state. I blew, I blew old man Chuck's mind when I said I can I can prove what gravity is. I said it's the flesh. It's a fallen state. Gravity. 
<laughs> That's how gravity became. Who's crazy? Oh, that would be me. I'm crazy. My hair is so much better than Einstein, and you called him a genius. <laughs> I went out to, um, I went out and had some coffee, <laughs> and there was this this old friend of mine, and it, it was crazy. He was out there. And um, his, what was it? I don't know. He had to take his car to the shop or something. And they were both retired military. <laughs> this one tells me, I mean, he's all, oh. And I went, he goes, I'm a sniper. And I was preaching because he was asking me questions. And I, he goes, Hey, That's are you going to go with us tonight? Or? Huh? Are you going with us? We're getting ready to take off here. I got to go do laundry. Oh. He said I couldn't do laundry tonight, so I never do laundry. Are you going back out there? Huh? Are you going back out there? Out to... No, out to the pavilion. Uh, yeah. Would you grab my phone and speaker? Yeah. Please? Yeah. Thank you. Um, let me go grab her um, phone and stuff, and we'll be right back. So. That I was like, so, oh, facing Daniel. I said, <coughs> he started pulling out because um, he was the soldier of fortune. And I haven't seen, I haven't sat down and talked to him in a while. And he pulls out all these rocks and he goes, I heard that the amethyst mine is around here somewhere. And I said, it is. I said, we get some gas and we're going to go up there. I said, because I want to go up there too. <laughs> Pulls out all these rocks. And I pull out the uh, Apache tear. He goes, what do you want for that? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Are you warm tonight? Um, I hope so. Um, I'm if not, not you're coming back. I'm going to be held hostage. But I have, still have to go to Vespers and go get the rest of my stuff because I couldn't carry it all day. Oh, get your butt back in here. Hmm? Get your butt back in here. Yeah. Do but, not uh, stay out in the cold. Yes, yes no more. <laughs> you know, um, I got to go drag my wagon up, get my laundry started, go get my stuff from Vespers, and then I will probably see you guys, I'm hoping. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I held hostage last night. It was very weird. But, you know, she's having a rough moment. So, but it's still kind of... It's weird. going around. Sometimes people just, you know, she's going through whatever she's going through, but it's it's like she's not processing it well or something. I don't know. <laughs> not dealing with it well. No, but, and, and every time I turn around, she's like, don't leave me alone. I'm like, dude. <laughs> we need to chill, okay? I mean, literally, she blocked the door. Yeah, it kind of weirded me out. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, but people like, have been freaking um, out because they've been seeing I'm just a going lot of shit. Smoke a cigarette, woman. Chill out. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> But anyway, um, I'm gonna go skip my hair. Sorry. I love you guys. Love you. Are you guys gonna be warm enough tonight? Uh, yeah, you yeah. got propane and everything? Okay. Okay. Both. Right. Yeah. Um, I got that clip on fan that down here plugged in. <laughs> you what? I got your clip on fan plugged in down here. Oh. I'll circulate it a little bit better. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah. Um, did you need the wood glue? Because there might be some wood glue. That big uh, Ziploc um, container okay. that I have underneath there. Um, if you, you know, rummage around in there, I'm pretty sure that I have a bunch. Uh, I think I have like one of the like medium-sized uh, uh, wood glue things, uh, uh, a tube of it or whatever. Okay. Um, so if you want to rummage around in there and see if you can find it, um, it would be with the the sandpaper and all that crap, but it's in there. Look at that whole box of sandpaper I got out of the last night, the mm -hmm. night before. All brand new, most of it. Right on. You know how expensive that shit is? Yes, I do. That Velcro paper is like two bucks a sheet. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, that, when I was doing the skateboard, freaking, I think I spent close to freaking almost $15 on freaking the different uh, grades of freaking <laughs> <Yeah. Sam> paper. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm off. Okay. I'll probably see you guys later. All right. Okay. So, you, be safe. Be warm. We will. And do you want to shut this? Yeah, I'll get it. All right. Lock us in. Huh? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I. Oh, I was talking. To somebody in my life. Um, I. How do you? Uh, how do I do that? How do I add you to the live? Hi. Hey, Toya. Is that how you spell your name? Oh, say your name, Toya. Hey, everybody. Kind of a solemn moment. <laughs> it truly is. I had to give myself a pep talk. Okay, what I'll do is I'll how do you get notifications? Where did you go? Proud Patriot? How do I do that? Do you know how to do that? I'll add all of them. I know. Hi, hi, Tower. I'm sorry. I just realized you guys were talking. I was see, watching in the spirit. You <laughs> came back. Oh, see me, see me. She just went blind, and it, it's cute because I'll talk to her, and that's how she, her 
our senses kick in. And I talk to her and lead her through the park. She follows my voice. Or the sweater. I don't know what it is about the sweater. Blind girl went through the park <laughs> to get something to eat. And she found her way all the way to pack across the park to my step. To lay on the sweater. You cold? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Thank you. 